Hi there, my name is Chaos, and today we'll be talking about my favorite computer of all time, the Commodore 64, and in particular, this little device, the UK1541, which is a cool little device, and we'll be talking about it in this video. Unlike the SD2 IEC or similar devices, the UK1541 tries to emulate the 1541 drive at a hardware level, which means it will also uh, emulate the 6502 microprocessor which is in here, which should make this 100% compatible with the 1541 drive. So everything this runs, this should run as well. The UK1541 uses SD cards for its storage, just like the SD2 IEC. So this means you can fill your SD card with disk images of original floppies and it should play everything you will throw against it. Connecting the UK1541 is really easy. You just plug it into the, well, can I show this? Yes. Plug it into the user port of your Commodore 64 and the extra cable that is supplied goes to the serial port or the IEC bus of your Commodore 64 and that's it. I have to say I was really impressed when I first got this device. The little LCD display really pops out. Uh, it shows you all the images which are on your SD card and on the right side it will show you the files of the image you have mounted and it just looks and feels like a really well built device. Um, there are some downsides, however. The first complaint I have about this device is actually the name. UK1541, UK being ultimate killer. And ultimate referring to the 1541 ultimate, or so I presume. Which is weird. Both devices are made by the, well, uh, let's call it the homebrew scene of the Commodore 64. So why would you name yourself um, being something that kills the competition, it's not competition, you're both doing the same thing, uh, striving for the same goal. And this device can do so much more than this device can. So it's really comparing apples and oranges, so I really don't get the name Ultimate Killer. The second complaint is more of a design flaw in my opinion. Uh, let me connect it to the user port of my favorite Commodore 64 and you'll see what I mean. You won't be able to see half of the LCD display if you insert this in a bread bin. So I have to switch to my Commodore 64C to be able to see the screen. Also the device comes without an actual case, which means you have to handle it with care and should keep it away from ch small children <laughs> like mine. One last thing is that this device does not come with any manual. Um, on the PCB there are two uh, internet addresses which are c64power.com which I thought would be an English website about the UK1541 but it's not. It's a forum in Polish I think yeah and then there's some other weird address which ends at .pl which would be Polish as well but that side is actually in English, so that's a bit weird. The .com is Polish and the .pl is English. And that's more like a wiki for this device. So not really a manual on how to use it. To update the firmware of the 1541, you just have to put the new firmware, which are bin files, in the root of an SD card, insert the SD card into the device, boot it up, and it will automatically see the new firmware and install it. It's really that easy. To use this device you can plug in a joystick and use the joystick to navigate on the LCD screen or you can use the remote control which is a little fiddly uh, to be honest. You have to really aim it well especially in a bread bin because it's um, the casing is blocking the infrared receiver but it works. We'll be using the infrared remote control and there are two buttons on top. One of them resets the device that I'm sure of. I'm not entirely sure what this does because again there is no manual. So um, we're going to use this to load up 
Platoon, which I have been wanting to play ever since I got uh, a Commodore 64 about a few months ago. But the SD2 IEC would not run that game. So let's navigate to the P. Platoon. Then we mount the first D64. And this is really cool. Uh, on the right side, you can see the files that are now inside this image. So if I pull up the listing, it will show the exact same files as this, which is awesome. Really cool. Great work. Great theme song. But as you can see, it loads up great. Let us play just a little bit. Oh, yes, booby traps. No, you don't. No, you don't. The UK1541 is a great little device. It's well built, it's well made, and it runs 99% of all the disk images you will throw at it. It ran 100% of the images I threw at it. So it's a great device. Uh, the, you also cannot beat the price. It's available for around the same price as uh, the SE2 IEC, perhaps a little bit more, but not much. So um, if you have to choose between those, I would definitely go for this one. Great little device for a great price with some downsides, but still a great device. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye. And in particular, the UK 1541, which is a cool little bit. Let's do the.